Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a quick tutorial on how to create a scaling avatar. So what this will do will basically allow you to change the size of your avatar while inside of VRChat. Uh, sadly, this will not change your viewpoint and will only change your size, therefore it can get buggy. But uh, there are modifications that allow you to prevent this though I do not uh, condone using client modifications. But to get started, we will create our parameter and it will be a float and we will call this scale goes burr. Um, and then we will do the same quickly in our animator. So we're gonna click on our avatar here. We're gonna make sure that we're in the FX no waste. Uh, we're gonna go into the parameters and we are gonna create the float and we're going to scroll down to it and then rename it again the scale goes burr so your two parameters here need to be the same through both now what we can do after we've done this is we will create the actual animation itself so we will click on the wicker we will grab the no waste and we will create the three new animations that we will need for this so to start we will go to the bottom and we will make our smallest, so we'll call this 0, 01 for 0 0.1. And we will create this animation. And inside of the here, what we want to do is we want to press record and then go to our avatar and set the scale of the avatar to 0 0.1 on all three axes. So therefore, it will become small like this. And after that is done, you will go ahead and make a, another animation. Right here, we will call this one for normal size. Hit the record button, and then you can quickly just type any number and then back to one after, and it will hold this uh, values here. And now we are done with that one. And then the final will be our largest size. Uh, for this, personally, I pick five. So I will go five here. I'll hit record, and in my scale, I'll put everything to five, and hit stop recording. And then we have our three animations now. So we're completely done with that. So you can go here and take the animator out. And then now inside of here, we have our uh, layers. We can get rid of these from the empty. And we will create a new layer. Scroll down. We will give it the weight of one. And then rename it to scale goes burr. And now inside of here, we want to uh, right click, go to create state and new blend tree. And inside of this blend tree, we are going to click on it and we should have the ability to change. We want to make sure the blend type is 1D and we want to take this down to scale goes burr and then we're going to add three motion fields. So make sure that your middle motion field will be your default. So we're going to make that one here. And then are we going to click again and put our smallest on the zero threshold and our biggest on the one threshold. And we have now created it to make sure that this works. You can pull up this little thing normally, and then you would drag your model here and you can click play. And then now you can change this and you can see that the avatar scales with it, which means we successfully set this up correctly. So now what we do is we go over to the scene and we click on the avatar and then we go into the menu and I've made something already for this for the YouTube tutorials and inside of here we will create a scale and we are going to make this a radial puppet and inside of the parameter rotation we're gonna put scale goes burr and so now when we hit play after everything loads up. It should start at the smallest size. And so right here, if we go into the expressions, tutorials, and scale, and we click here, it will change the scale of the avatar, which means it works. And this is a personal thing, so that you don't start small, is go into your parameters here, and where scale goes burr is, 
change this to 0 0.5, which is our middle setting that we made earlier. And we are now done. So at any point, when you get into the game and go to your um, expressions and go to wherever you put your scale, you can now change the size of your avatar. I will now switch to VR chat to show what it looks like in game. So one good thing about this uh, feature inside of here, the scale, is that this is completely quest compatible. So quest users will see your avatar shrink and grow as well as PC users. Um, examples, so you can go super big, you can go super small. Uh, I set my numbers to 0 0.1 and 5, but you can pick bigger or smaller. Uh, though there is a problem where if you go below 0 0.1, uh, your menu starts to glitch out when you're in VR. So that is one thing to be wary of. But feel free to play around with the numbers and get a feel for it. But uh, that has been this tutorial. Thank you for watching.